Yay, we are live. Yay, yay, yay. Okay. Yay. Welcome, welcome. Welcome to Shake Up Your Makeup. This is so fun. So today I posted this picture of like messy makeup. Like, are you super organized or messy? And everyone thought it was my makeup. And I'm like, no, no, no. My makeup is organized now, but it wasn't in the beginning. So first of all, I want to introduce myself so that those of you that don't know me, my name is Robin Moore. I'm a sales director with Mary Kay working on earning, as my son says, our first pink car. So super exciting. And introduce yourself over here. I know I've got it backwards. Who is with me today? Yay. Hello. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Bonnie, Bonnie Waite. Um, I'm just restarted with Mary Kay. I'm happy that you guys are all here. So we are super excited because we're going to be doing giveaways. So we're going to be giving away some cute, look at how cute those are. Oh my gosh, aren't those cute? Some canvas bags today. So what I want you guys to do is comment for giveaways, okay? So first, we want you to know, we want to know who invited you here. Who is the person that brought you in here? Comment away. And if you are watching with us and you're going to be participating in cleaning out your makeup, we're super excited. If you're watching just to learn a little bit more, that'll be fun too, but you're gonna want to participate. You're like, for sure, for sure, gonna be itching to clean out your own makeup bag, I promise you. So as I go along, I, everyone keeps asking me when I do these live events, can I share them with my girlfriend? So I want you to know if you're like sitting here saying, I wish I was doing this with my friends. Like I wish my girlfriends were with me and we could like clean out our makeup together, drop like a friend emer emoji or say like, hang out with my friends because a lot of people, I love this to like organize. I always think if you go buy a cute outfit or you're like doing something special, you want your girlfriends to be there with you and pick the stuff with you, right? You don't wanna do it alone. You're like, is this the right color? Does this dress look good on me? Do I look fat in this dress? And by the way, the answer is no, you look amazing. So just in case you were wondering. Um, and so we are super excited because we are gonna be doing something a little unique today. And I wanna first thank you if you're joining us um, to really just learn a little bit more about makeup and Mary Kay and clean out your makeup, welcome. If you are a Mary Kay customer or friend, we want you to drop some Mary Kay, like some MK, we love MK emojis because um, we appreciate you. We know that you have options to shop. And right now, we love that we can do our business virtually. We can share with you guys, do all this fun stuff. So first, what we're gonna do is I'm actually, I'm um, going to just kind of go over what we're going to look at. We want to show you, educate you about how to use the products you already love, how to cut out products you're like, I don't even know why I have this. I don't even use it. And then how to cut out products that are probably expired, which some of you may have. And I'm going to talk about expiration and what that means and all that good stuff um, because most people don't know that products do expire. Yes, even your makeup products. Um, so what I want you guys to do first is if you are with us and you are going to be sharing um, your show, going through your makeup bag, I want you to grab a piece of paper. And I would love if you would go ahead and pull out, um, like make a box, like a, like a square. Does that make sense? Like a tic-tac-toe. I'm going to show you in just a second. Let me get my, all my stuff over here. I, I don't have my screen up. So I'm like, what is happening here? Okay. Hold on, technical difficulties. Okay, perfect, here we go. I'm gonna share this one. Finally, sorry, like, okay. Ready, set, go, perfect, okay. So this is, this shake up your makeup. What I want you to do is I want you to make something like this where you have a love it, like it, wanna replace it, or if you're like, I don't even use this. Why is this even in my, why is this even here? So just have something like this um, to just have in front of you. Or if you're a super visual person, you could just put your products in front of you like four different spots and know which one is which, okay? So this is super fun to do. It's like I said, it's super fun to do with your girlfriends. And then while you're doing this, I am going to actually walk you through products that you should be um when you should be getting rid of them. So we're gonna go through that. So just everybody got that, like it, love it, wanna replace it, or I don't even use it. 
Okay, Bonnie, I know you're doing this with me. So you put your stuff right here because Bonnie is new and she's like, we were talking about products and she's like, there might be a couple products I need to replace too. I'm like, don't we all, you know? And that's like, as a brand new consultant, she's so lucky she gets to replace it at a discount. And we're going to talk a little bit about that later, but I'm super excited for Bonnie too, because this is going to be super fun. Okay. So people always ask like when to clean out your makeup, like what does that even look like? How do I know when to do that? And so here's what we're going to show you is you guys, this is kind of hard to see on your screen, but I will share it. Your consultant will be able to share this with you so that you can see um, and kind of look through this. So is that okay? It's a little hard to see. So I'm going to walk you through it. So when to clean out your makeup. First of all, mascara is the biggest one. Your mascara should re be replaced every three months. And here's the reason. Bacteria. Every time you pump your mascara, I'm going to show myself on here so that we can show you. Every time you take your mascara and you open it and then you put it back in, we are building bacteria. Also, our eyes have a lot of bacteria. So you want to make sure that when you're getting mascara every three months. So some people, I like to tell people the month, like let's say I got this in March. I'll put the number three on the bottom of my mascara one. So I know that at the end of the sixth month, which is June, I need to get a new one. Um, so that's super, super easy to remember. And people are like, what if I don't use it all the time? It doesn't really matter because once oxygen gets in there, it starts to build up. So it should be every three months, no matter what. So sorry to burst anyone's bubble. Most people are like, Robin, I've had my mascara for too long. I'm like, yes, I know. I so personally always want a new one. So you're like, I'm just moving on. You're like, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Eyeliner. So you have like liquid eyeliner, pencil eyeliners, and those also should be replaced every three months. If you have like one that sharpened, you should sharpen it every time um, you use it to keep it clean and it'll keep it going longer. So that really is a really good idea. So three months is kind of like a trend you're seeing. I know. Um, now we're going to go into like foundation. So foundation, um, if it's unopened can last like two or more years, but how many of us don't open our foundation, like, right? Most of us open our foundation, but if it's open six to 12 months. So some people are like, what? Some people think that's a long time. Some people run out of their makeup before then, or some people are like, I don't even use my makeup that often. Again, it's the same thing. You have to make sure that you're replacing your product to keep it clean and in front of you. Um, and to really keep the bacteria out, which is why a lot of people struggle with maybe acne or blemishes is because they're actually putting bacteria back on their skin from their own makeup products. Yeah, I'm telling you, we're doing most of the damages ourselves to ourselves. Um, the next one is concealer. So liquid concealers need to be replaced after one year. Powders and sticks can last for two years. Um, and if anything that's like a liquid product is changing color, no matter what it is, you need to actually, you need to get rid of that product. So what that is, is oxidation. And that's not allowing your product to work that way. So that actually applies to skincare and body care as well. So if you guys have ever, your white lotion has gone to yellow, that means the oxidation is happening quickly. So you want to make sure. So really look at the colors of your skin, uh, of your skincare products and liquid products. So that's a really good tip that I love that, that I didn't know until I got into Mary Kay. Uh, cheeks and eye color. So most cheeks and eye colors are powder. So you can really up to two years, but it still does build bacteria. The open, um, like when you open your product and you use it and people are like, I know somebody, there are got to be people on here who've had their product longer than that. So I know, um, if it's a cream or like, um, cream to powder kind of that might have a shorter shelf life and like one year, anything cream or more liquidy for, for eyes and cheeks powders. Big thing about powders. People don't realize this powders can really, um, their, the, the consistency can change with any humidity. So keeping the powders away from any humidity. So keeping it in a dry and cool place. Well, a lot of people get ready in their bathrooms. Don't keep your powders in your bathroom because that will build the humidity when you take showers and when pe other people are in there showering. So just remember that. And um, a pressed powder, about two years. 
loose powder can be more than three years because it's loose powder. It has a little bit more, um, just it's a, a ability to stay clean with a lid is better than a, a press powder. So that's why. Um, and then the last one I want to talk about is lipstick. So lipstick and lip gloss should be replaced every year. So find the colors you love. So you don't have most people that love lipstick or lip gloss, they're, they're using the color they love so often. They're like, mm, I, a year is not even enough, right? So remember that you want to make sure it's a year. So if you're not loving the color, that's what we're here for. Um, one of the things that I wanted to say about lipstick and lip gloss, and not just because we're in a pandemic right now, but mostly because it is one of the most like unsanitary things to do is like to share with strangers Okay, not strangers. None of us are sharing lipstick with strangers. I get that. But like even acquaintances, like try not to share your lipstick or lip products because we carry a lot of bacteria and illness and disease in our mouth. And I know that sounds so weird. Um, like, okay, I share with my children, my son. Okay, that's fine. But really like try not to share your products. And again, lip gloss or lipstick that changes color or is like changing its form, you can all, you should also get rid of that. So if you guys have questions about that or comments, I'd love to hear what everyone does with their makeup. Cause some of you are probably digging out dust bunnies out of that makeup drawer. And I get it. Like before Mary Kay, I didn't have any makeup. I felt like I never wore makeup, but I had a weird drawer of makeup. And I hear it all the time. People are like, I don't really wear makeup, but I have a ton of makeup. And I'm like, hmm. so you're having products you don't even let alone like you're not even using them. So Bonnie, if you were to say one product that you would be shocked to know, what was one thing you learned about what product you needed to replace probably quicker than you have? Um, well, probably foundation because I don't wear it as often and it probably sits there and I think, oh wow, I've had this forever. You know, it sits in the back and you know, pull those other foundations out and you just don't use them as often. So I was surprised about that. And I think that that's probably what I have the most of that would need to go out is just foundation I haven't used. Okay, my good. My lipstick goes too fast. Your lipstick. Yeah, I hear a lot of people. Not lately, but. No? Not lately with the mask. I've wore, I've seen about three months of lipstick, but I usually go through it pretty fast. Well, and I feel like if you have a color you love, you're like constantly wearing it. So it's a little bit harder. So I totally agree. So I want to know, um, like you guys probably had some time if you're with us going through this, or even if you just know, what are some products that you like love? You cannot live without it. You love this product. Um, I'm going to talk about, honestly, the thing that's fortunate for me and most of my Mary Kay customers and Mary Kay customers in general, we love all of our products because if we don't love it, we get to replace it at 100% guarantee. So it's a little unique, um, but if you are not using all that, so... Um, the mascara one. Yes. The mascara for sure. I'm like, yes, Rebecca mascara three months. You have to. So for sure, for sure. Um, and then, okay. So what products you love? Tell me some products you love. Um, and then we're going to go through, like, I'm going to go through, like it, want to replace it. Don't even use it. Okay. And then we're going to go into my bag. And the reason I'm doing my bag is because one, I feel like on a regular basis, I have a pretty simple routine. Bonnie and I are both moms, so our routines might be different from each other. Also, Bonnie works in the medical field full time, so it's a little different, but look at her. She looks fabulous. And today, I was doing like a YouTube video thing, so I put a little more makeup on than normal. But usually, I'm doing this with a two-year-old bouncing on my lap. So I thought we'd walk through it. And I want to – and also, Bonnie hasn't used all these products in a while. So I want to – Bonnie's going to, like, feedback with me, kind of. Okay? So if I – this is literally – okay, you guys, this is literally my bag from home. And it's, like, a really cute Mary Kay bag. And I kind of don't want to show you the inside because it's actually kind of dirty. So I should probably clean my bag. Can you clean the bag? I don't really know. Okay. Anywho. So use Clorox wipes. Oh, they're, well, those are probably hard to find right now. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I didn't write this product down and I have no idea why, because this is my lifesaver and my favorite product, especially right now in Arizona. It's a million and 10 degrees. There's a fire on our mountains and we can't go anywhere. So yeah, this product is our finishing spray. If you guys have never used this product, first of all, finishing spray is amazing in general. But for me, I literally put it on like 10 layers. 
like I do my found I do like my moisturizer, I put finishing spray. Do my primer, I put finishing spray. I do like any layer that goes on my face gets a finishing spray in between. Also, fun tip. Um I have found this out from a makeup artist that you can actually use this on your armpits and like under your boob area for sweat. Right? Yes. You just have to do it when you're like dry and don't put lotion on top. And so anyways, I'm gonna try it. Oh, plus it's so cooling. It's almost like a relief when it's hot outside. So I don't know why I didn't put this, but I didn't write this one down, but that's like my go-to. Again, I feel kind of like I'm cheating because all of these are on my love it list. I don't have anything I don't love. I do have products that I tried that I was like, oh, I didn't keep using it. So, but that's because I'm simple. Okay, CC cream. So if there's anything here that you want, like put the name of it and put a shopping bag. That way your consultant knows like, hey girl, I want to try that stuff. That seems amazing. So, okay, this is our CC cream. And this is actually my shade is medium to deep. And in the summer, it goes to deep. So, Bonnie, I know you've used the CC cream before, but you're more of a full coverage girl, right? You like full coverage. Yes. Okay. If you were to, like, run out the house, though, what would you put on every day? Oh, like the CC cream for sure. Okay. okay. Um, it's, it's on the go. It's so much faster. I also found that when I get tanner in the summer, it's easier that it just matches to my skin. I don't have to worry about it. You know, no matter how light or how dark my face is, it's going to match up. That's actually brilliant that you say that because it's like a true to match. So for me, I get like 10 shades darker when I go out in the sun. So I have to change color. But a lot of people with the CC cream, it will adjust to them because they don't get so much darker. So she's so right that. And I love this because you can literally put it on with your fingers if you need to. Like if you need to get this done quick and you're like, I'm out. You can put it on with your fingers, super easy. I actually do it for a more full coverage too. Like today, I did the CC cream and then I did my liquid on top of it and it gives me a fuller coverage without feeling like super caked on. This takes me like two seconds, easy peasy. Um, my next product I'm gonna talk about is like the holy grail of products. So if you are have insomnia, if you are a student, if you are a mom, if you work full time, if you, for any reason, don't sleep. This is your favorite product in the world is the under eye corrector. So I'm gonna show you guys on the back of my hand. It has like a peach undertone and this color, hold that lighting is weird. This color really matches every skin tone. And why is it peach, do you ask? Well, that's because underneath here is we have a, um, our maxillary system under here is like purple and blue and it cancels it out, makes it beautiful. Bonnie, have you ever used the under eye corrector? Yes, I have. I do have that. It's amazing. This is the it's thing. expired. <laughs> She's like, that's probably a one. A one. <laughs> She's like, I need to replace it. I love yes. it. Yes. Okay. I've had it too long, but okay. it's amazing. So. This one is like a concealer. Also, a lot of people, what they like to do is they like to mix it with our perfecting concealer. So this is our concealer, and I use concealer in a lot of different ways. I'm gonna be honest with you. I do mix it with the under eye corrector under here to make my eyes pop, but also get rid of the dark circles. I also use it underneath my brow to make my brows pop, and if I'm really getting fancy, I'll use it as like a little bit of like a highlighter, like contour kind of thing on my face, but that's, on a regular basis, I just mix these two guys together and they go under my eye in like two seconds. This is super fast, out the door. Okay, this is not an everyday thing, but if I need to like look decent and have some eyeshadow on and look like I tried, anybody ever wanna like look like you try but not try? Okay, we have these new liquid eyeshadows and I brought some of my favorite colors. I see those? Oh my gosh, and literally this is my makeup bag, so it's not pretty, sorry. It's like literally what I use on a daily basis. So this one's probably my favorite. Is the pink starlight? Yes, pink starlight. Okay, so. Do you see that? Right there? Oh my gosh. It's like shimmer meets amazingness. All beautiful, like super easy. Put this on all over. You can put it mixed colors together. It's amazing, super easy. Um, a really good go-to eye look every day or like a simple quick and go. You can also add our, our liquid or our powder eyeshadows on top of it. Cheek color. So most people just keep the same cheek color forever, but really you need to get rid of it. And we have so many options. So I wanted to show you all the options. Okay. Is that crazy? Okay. 
This one is not a cheat color over here. This is a bronzer, and so is that one. But the rest of them are cheat colors. Again, these are literally mine. Is it upside down? I think it's upside down. Yeah, it is upside down. These are literally mine, and I just decide which one I like every day. So pick your favorite. It'll last you, you know, a long time. And then I just throw this on with our cheat color brush. And our cheat color brush is super simple, easy. You just blend it out, all the good stuff. Okay. Also, I showed bronzer. I do put a little bronzer on every day. Every day. Um, and then this is my favorite. Okay. This guy is it. This is, okay, I'm going to show you right now. Are you ready for some magic? Did I tell you I was doing magic tricks? Well, I am. So this is finishing powder, translucent powder that literally makes my shine go away. So do you guys notice how it was kind of shiny? Well, I left it like that for you so that you could see how well this works. So I haven't put makeup on since like seven o'clock this morning and it's 7 p.m. Arizona time. But did you see how matte my face just went? Translucent powder for the win. Cannot live without this stuff. And then brow tint, which this is really quick. It's a spoolie. You just throw this on your brows. If you have um, no brows, you might need to use a pencil. But for me, I have some brow hair, so I can just throw this on. Bonnie, you've never tried this, have you? Because this is new. No, I have tried that. It's oh, you have? Live by it. Girl. Yeah, that's okay. Bonnie's going to share her fave mascara, and then I'm going to show you a mascara. All right. So my favorite mascara is the Lash Intensity Mascara. Robin showed me that you have to shimmy it when you put it on your eyes. Um, yeah, so one way you shimmy it and spread all the lashes out and turn it and make all your lashes really long. I'll show you guys a little up close here because it's pretty freshly applied. It's like oh, one of my girl. favorites. Look at those. It looks like falsies. That's what I love about the lash intensity is it's like falsies all up in your life right now. Yeah, I say that. It's falsies in a bottle, but it's better because you can take it off. I can't. I cannot master the false lashes and I'm really scared about someone being that close to my eye with something. So this is, I have to live by this. It's the best I'm going to get. And there's really no better. Honestly, I swear by this. So I love that. Um, I obviously cheat and I get lash extensions and I'm not even afraid to admit it because it's like the well, one beautiful. So. I told my husband, I'm like, it's like the one thing I do for myself. I was like, and my hair and my nails, and my pedicures. It's fine. I do a lot of things for myself, but it just, for me, I'm it's like, all I, inclusive in self care. Yeah. I'm like, for me, I could wake up, but I do wear mascara on the bottom because I think it looks good. And sometimes I'll like, when I take them off, I need mascara. So this one I'm obsessed with, um, mostly because I put it on my daughter and her lashes looked amazing. So this is our lash love fanorama. It's a brand new limited edition and by limited i mean once it's gone it's gone and i love this one because it has okay so it's got three ways of application so you see that that's kind of flat and i turn it and it's got a curve and then if i let's see i'm trying to get really close see how it has like little fans up top on my forehead and i was trying to make it like flat um this why it's called panorama is because you put it on with the flat side with the curved side and then you take it and you lash it out you fan it out this product is amazing. Uh, again, limited edition, so get on it. Super simple. And then last, we're gonna talk about lipstick, and I'm gonna let Bonnie share her fave, because this is a go-to color. All right, my favorite always, since the day I tried it, and I'm still picking up the wrong one. Um, Wave Moment. I feel like it just goes the best with everything I'm wearing. It goes best with my skin tone. I just love it. It's matte. I never liked to shine on my lips. I've always liked matte. So okay. when Mary Kay came out with a matte lipstick, I was so happy. It's one of my favorites. So you're a matte lipstick girl. Oh, so yes. here's the other thing. People are always like, how do I know what colors? And usually we'll do a console, a color console, and we'll just show you all the stuff, right? Well, Mary Kay is just amazing. And today, Bonnie got to experience one of our apps that we have, our app called the Skin Analyzer app, which is more about skincare and skin texture. And her mind was blown, like emoji brain explode, right? Yes. Because Mary Kay is just on top of it, like the best of the best. And one of the product, one of the ones I love for makeup is called the Mirror Me app. And all you have to do is go to your app store, download Mirror Me, and what's going to happen is you literally take a picture of yourself and you can put different shades on your face. You can see what shade lipstick looks good on you. Can you wear 
more of like the mauve color? Can Should you go more coral? And it's so fun to play with. If you can take a picture on your phone, you can do the Mirror Me app. So if you're interested in the Mirror Me app, comment Mirror Me or app or whatever, and we'll know what you need. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk you guys through some specials just really quickly to show you everything that we just talked about. And I want you guys to tell me right now, how many of you have a product in your bag? Like what's the oldest product someone has? I wanna know. So if you guys can comment, like how old do you think your lipstick is? Like what's the oldest product you have right now? And Bonnie, do you know what the oldest product in your bag you have is right now? Yeah, I mean, yeah, kind of. I have How old do you think it is? Um, I've had this very dark lipstick that I don't wear very often because it's very bold. And I bought it when I initially bought my matte lipstick. So I've had it for like two years or three years now. You're like... Dang. And now I'm really hesitant to use it. <laughs> I know people are like, do I throw it away or what can I'm I do? Like scrape off a layer of all the sides and the top and then use the inside. <laughs> I love it. I love that. That's so funny. Also, I tell people if you're interested in donating products, some people are like, how do you donate used product? A fun fact, a lot of, um, this is not a, like it's a weird fact, but I'm going to tell you anyways. A lot of um, like, what do you call them? Um, I want to say crematories, but that's not the word. Like funeral homes, they need makeup for the deceased. So that is like you can donate there. They don't care if it's bacteria or anything because, you know, morbid. But yeah, so there you go. There's a fun way. Um, oh, look it. I'm going to show this. Michelle Barber said almost 10 years mineral powder. What? That's okay. Honestly, I think I was just thinking in my the other bag I have at home, I may or may not have like had a product that's like a little too old, but I usually donate my product like before then. So anyways, okay, let's talk about makeup specials, but keep commenting you guys of how old we want to see like who's got the oldest product. So keep commenting and I will share with you guys. So makeup specials, we're going to walk through this really quickly, super simple. Um, so the ultimate color set. So the ultimate color set is the lipstick. It's a mascara. Um, you also get the under eye corrector, CC cream, eyeliner, and the whole palette. Like this is for the girl that's like, I'm, I wear all the makeup. Like I'm in, this is your makeup that you're going to need for every day. A lot of people love eyeliner. I love our compacts. Um, I have the compact pro right now. And so I have I'm the a, mini one. You do show us. Yeah. I have the mini one. Yes, girl. I love it. I think I got this as a free gift too with Mary Kay. Look at you. Up and I keep my brushes in the bottom. See, mine is a little bit of a mess, but this is my pro palette, which I have like the big one because, you know, I also have the small ones too. I also but have that big one with the blush that you have full. So. Yes. See, there you go. And then the complete color set. This is pretty much everything we talked about today. CC cream, under eye corrector, liquid eyeshadow, eyeliner, mascara, lipstick, and then the essential color. That's like, girl, I just need the basics. And I love the under eye corrector in the essential because I feel like that's essential more, like that's the most essential when it comes to that. And so if you decide to purchase anything today, you are going to get your brush set at 50% off. And I didn't get to talk about all the brushes, but if you want to learn more about the brushes, ask your consultant. And then you can also, um, Ask your consultant about how you can receive more half-off items. We have some specials and some things happening. So I also, your consultant will be able to send this to you so you can see it more in depth. Um, if anyone has any questions about anything, please comment so we can kind of answer those. So that was my makeup bag. And I'm like, oh my gosh, makeup specials, all the things. I love it. The last thing I wanted to share really quickly is, Bonnie, you are a, what we like to call a recommitted Mary Kay consultant, right? So she was a Mary Kay a while ago. Life happened. Things happened. And she decided she wanted to come back in Mary Kay. And I just wanted you to share really quickly, why did you decide to come back into Mary Kay? Um, well, for one, I never stopped using Mary Kay. Once I learned about it and learned to love it, once I tried it, once I was sold. So I never stopped using Mary Kay. Um, I just really stopped selling it. I joined Mary Kay because I have two kids. I have a family. Um, I want more for my life. I know that there's more to life than nine to five and 40 mm -hmm. hours a week. And 
I want to fill my life with joy and memories and I don't want most of that to be working. So Mary Kay gives me the option to be able to do that. And within three years, I want to be able to not work at all. And just maybe even sooner than that, I think three years is even a far, a really far goal, but I want, you know, I want to be able to be my own boss and be able to spend all the time that I want with my kids. I love that. I love that so much because I really think that there's three things that people love about Mary Kate's our culture and then the community of like what you said, building something for yourself, the flexibility, the freedom and really cash. At the end of the day, we are business owners. We do make a lot of cash in our business and we are, you know, I don't know what your situation is right now, what your life looks like, what's changed for you, but we've been building, you know, Bonnie started her business in the middle of this pandemic and is really doing, being able to really make money that she didn't know she'd be able to make. And I don't, I, I don't want to ever say that this is a good thing because it's absolutely not, but life does happen. Things do happen. And I always ask people, what's your backup plan? You know, Mary Kay for me in the beginning was a pink parachute. It was the thing. And now it's the, it's the everything. It's the pink dream. It's I'm, I'm able to support my family and do these things and the culture of Mary Kay, there is nothing else. So if you're interested in learning a little bit more about Mary Kay and you really are like, you know what? I, I don't know what this is, but this seems fun. Like what Bonnie said, like bringing joy to people, having fun, whether it's in person, virtually connecting with people. And really, I believe time is a commodity. Time spent one place is time taken away from another. So time is something if you're willing to invest, you can get more on the other side. And that's what Mary Kay's look like for me. Bonnie knows this. You know, when I met Bonnie, I was just really beginning my career as a director in Mary Kay. And now we are earning our fourth free car. And just being able to be a work from home mama has changed my whole world. And I'm so grateful that I get to help and support Bonnie to do that. ASAP with her family. I don't believe it's going to take three years. I think it could take three months, but that's just because I have belief that it'll happen. So if you're interested in learning more work, I'm giving this option right now. This Our business is so exciting, but right now you can start a business for $30 until the end of June. $30. Like I spend $30 at the dollar store. Like goodness <sighs> gracious. Like that's crazy. I feel like you cannot even imagine. So if you're interested in listing, I'm giving away free lip glosses, free anything just to list it because I really think people need this culture, our community, and who doesn't need a little extra cash? So thank you guys for watching. If you're someone who's like, I'm interested, I want to learn more, comment below. If there's something specific you have questions about or product, comment and your consultant will follow up with you. Um, I will check in with you too. Those of you that have commented that I know you're here. So we want to thank you for your time. Bonnie, thank you for walking through all this with me and sharing your products and your faves. And I know now she's like, I want even more. Now I got to go clean out my drawer. <laughs> and I just hope we brought you joy today. That is our, really our goal. So we hope you have a great rest of your evening and we will talk to you all soon. Bye. Bye. Thank you for watching.